that's right, Kate Gosselin, mother of eight, is here with a feast that will not cost you a fortune, a healthy organic meatloaf that you and your kids will love. Of course, you have your new book, yes. uh, Multiple Blessings. Uh, with Beth Carson helped you with that Correct. as well. And so you, everyone wanted an organizational book from you because they, they just can't understand. How do you make this all work? Um, very carefully. <laughs> I don't know that it's working right now. Oh, it's, um, it's working great. Okay, we need to share, please. I'm cooking. Um, so you're going to make a meatloaf uh, dish I am. For us. Nutrition um, as well as cost is very important to us. Um, I kind of developed this meatloaf recipe over the years. I just kind of dump stuff in. It's um, kind of organic meatloaf? It is organic meatloaf. Everything that I use is organic. Okay. And um, so we start with um, three eggs. Starting with two, I use two pounds of ground beef. Most families probably could cut that in half. Um, but three eggs okay. um, you can help dump the sure. stuff in if you want What's that? Um, celery, celery onion onion my trick is to hide um, as much um, oh. vegetables green pepper and carrots carrots so, you see this carrots going yes. so they and don't it, even know it also makes it very pretty mm -hmm. because when it's cooked up it's a little bit colorful okay um, as well as seasoned breadcrumbs mm -hmm. to kind of hold it all together yep Let's ketchup ketchup of course lots Meatloaf. of ketchup yeah yep. Um, Parmesan cheese, either grated or shredded, will work. Mm -hmm. And Italian seasoning, as well as uh, garlic, salt. garlic salt. So if we mix that all together, mm -hmm. um, I usually do it with my hands, but I'll use spoons to spare <laughs> you the, the lovely look of it. And, um, but this would be the end result Yes, of this it. is this the end result. Good. So see how colorful and pretty yeah. that is. And some veggies snuck in there, very yes. good. Yes, and it's very actually good. a lot. I mean, that's like a cup of each vegetable. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead actually go ahead. And, and put this in here and you just make a, um, about a, a pound, I, yeah, a little loaf and I try to divide it in half. That's about half. How much food you must consume as a family? Well, we do um, two pounds. This is two pounds and with the mixture it comes mm -hmm. out a little bit more. But put it in a bread loaf pan or whatever, I shape it into a loaf. Okay. And then um, I make a little one of these doojiggies with <laughs> with ketchup to make it pretty in the end and um, how long does it how long do you bake it a little bit about an hour about an hour a little bit over an hour at 350 until it's not pink in the center anymore okay or just barely pink and then um, the great part about this is the next day you can do meatloaf sandwiches which is John's absolute favorite he always requests it <laughs> the biggest kid down there yes the biggest yes. kid in fact he loves it, meatloaf so much it got to the point where now I ask him what do you want to eat this week besides meatloaf that's always my disclaimer because he always says meatloaf mm. well you know we had a meatloaf challenge on our program and Diane won because of the meatloaf sandwich wow because she did the meatloaf sandwich I hello did. Mm. Of course, it was a violation of the rules. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. You want. And um, great. You can, yes, you can add lettuce and tomato. Yep, adding more vegetables. And voila. Ah. It's yummy. Mm -hmm. You can eat it cold or warm. Well, I, I serve it with pears. broccoli, even more vegetables. Perfect. And we're good. Right. And you can also take it and crumble it up into, you know, hash if you want to crumble it up That's and awesome. add some more potatoes mm -hmm. and things thank to you. it, too. <laughs> John said, thank you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Kate. Meatloaf at 8 o'clock in the morning. Thanks for showing mm -hmm. us how it's done. And you can sure. get Kate's meatloaf recipe at ABC.